Here's a little game that you can play. It comes under the banner of a quick trick, but it's not really magic. It uses just a bunch of coins. You can borrow coins or just pull out from your pocket a handful of coins. It's a bit of a game you can play with friends and family. The idea is it's called Pitch and Toss, based on a game of pitching pennies, where people would toss coins up and call out heads or tails. You get someone to mix up the coins and drop them on the table. They lay them out and they can turn them over to any side they wish. So either a head is pointing face up or a towel. So there we've got a combination of coins. You're going to ask the spectator to turn over these coins and pick a coin. And you're going to be able to tell them exactly, not a guess, not a 50-50, it's an exact call on what they will have under their hand, either a head or a towel. So what's going to happen is you're going to turn away while they do this. All you ask them to do is every time they turn over a coin is to say the word turn. Every time. Now they can turn over each coin or none at all, or they can turn over the same one multiple times to try to confuse you. So the game goes like this. You turn your back. They then turn coins over, and every time they turn a coin over, they say, turn, 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 turn. Before you turn around, you ask them to cover any one of the coins with their hand. You turn around, and immediately you can reveal that the coin under their hand is head side up. And it proves true. You can repeat this any number of times. Every time you will know what side is uppermost under the hand, heads or tails. As mentioned at the start of this quick trick, this isn't really a magic trick. It's a bit of fun, a game that you can play with friends and family when you're out and about. It's quick and simple and the props you've probably already got in your pocket. So wherever you are, on a plane, train, a McDonald's restaurant, you can just say, let's have a little game with some heads and towels with the coins. You get them to throw the coins on the table and they can turn them to show either the head or the towels of the coin. They mix them up. Now, when they do this, before you turn your back, you're going to look at the coins and you're just going to count the number of heads currently showing. Now there's one there, one there, and one there. So there's three coins that are head side up. Now all I'm interested in is the number three. Keep that inside your head. Don't let the spectator know or make it obvious that you've looked at the coins and you've counted. So I've got a number three in my head. I then turn my back and every time the spectator turns a coin over, you just add one to that number three. So let's just turn over a few coins. So I'm thinking of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. When they've stopped turning coins over, I've now got the number 12 in my head. At this point, I'm just interested in odd and even numbers. Now, because I've counted to 12, that's an even number. You ask them to cover one of the coins. When you turn around, once again, you're going to count the heads and you want them to come to an even number. So we got one, two. There's two coins there. That's an even number. So you know that that's not an heads under the hand, because if it was, it would make this three heads, which will be an odd number. So you'll tell them that it's a towels under there, and it is. Now, if you didn't quite get that, let me just demonstrate that once again. Let's mix the coins up very quickly. I'm gonna count the number of heads currently showing. I can see that this is a head and this one's a head. So the number I'm gonna keep in my at this point is two. 
The spectator then turns coins over while your back is turned. So I'm starting on two, three, four, five, six, seven. They stop turning over. I've got the number seven, which is an odd number. Now, when they cover a coin, I turn around and I look at the coins on the table. I can see there's a head here and a head here. That gives me a two. Remember, I'm only interested in odd and even. Remember, we counted to a seven, which is an odd number. Now, I've got two on here that's an even number I've got to get this to be an odd number I know that under the hand is a head because if that is counted with these that gives me an odd number of three and it is it is a head if you can't quite follow that watch it a couple of times once you've done it once or twice it's actually very simple to have a go with try it yourself grab a handful of coins Six coins works the best. Any more or less than that, it's a little bit tedious. Practice and enjoy.